Hello everyone, welcome back to the new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make one command using Mongoose since it was requested by one of our subscribers into the school server. So now, let's hope into the video. Also, if you need source code, don't hesitate joining our Discord server, link in the description, and go to information and then choose GitHub and just go and you'll get the source code all right so let's start coding first of all you must have a user schema okay if you don't have a user schema just create one just put this and just remove the coins because you didn't watch the coins video or maybe go watch it anyways you gotta just add warns and then type gonna be string required true all right it, and uh, you must have the user ID and the guild ID and this is not important this is from one of my last videos because I don't want to make a lot of schemas so I will just keep it in one schema and also you should do that because if you did it in a lot of schema it might take big space in your uh, Mongo database and end up with like no space left. Anyways, after edit warns, I will go to commands admin and let's create a new one called warn.js. Also, I'll, I'll make warnings as well because it's not that hard. So first of all, let's put this and put warn. Here, let's require our schema equal require schema oops, schema slash profile. All right. So now. First of all, we want to check if the user have permission. So if message dot member dot has permission, perm uh, let's put here uh, like manage messages. All right, return message dot channel dot send. You, uh, you don't have enough permission to execute this command. All right. So we want to get the data from the schema. And I type schema wrong right now. So let data. And then let's put everything in a try and catch. So if there is an error, we will log it. So first of all, data will be equal to await schema dot find one, and you're gonna be using the ID, and the ID will be the user ID that we didn't define the user yet, so we're gonna define it user gonna be const user equal or let, let's put it as let user equal message dot uh, mentions dot users dot first all right so we'll put the guild id because over here there's a guild id and user ID. I just made that to be easier. Like those are actually type string and required. All right. So this is gonna be message dot guild dot ID. So if there is no data, if there is no data in the database about this user in this guild, it's gonna create the data. So await schema.create 
user ID here and the guild ID so message dot guild dot ID so that's it so far it looks good so let's now uh, maybe create a cool embed const embed equal new new discord dot message embed and let's put the description as uh, successfully warned user and now we have a total of I'm gonna put here data dot warns and why data dot warns dot warns I'm sorry so data because the we got the data from the schema using a uh, variable called data and warns because we're searching for the warns that it is in the schema that we just made here we added warns so if the, this is like subscribe and this where this should be subscribe as well all right i'm so gonna set here a color I'm gonna be green so actually we forgot to mention that if there is no user we want it to return so if no user return message dot channel dot send uh, please mention a user to one. All right. So we're gonna put here data dot warns. I'm gonna put plus equal and then one. Like that, it will add one to that data in the warns. All right, and we want to put it before the embed. So when when show the total it will not show it minus one it will show it after he got warned all right and we also need to save the data here before the embed too and then message dot channel dot send embed all right so let's now try it if i didn't know dot there everything looks great so this is a bit of mess let's just nuke it okay here we go so i will put here uh, equal warn please mention the user to warn if i did equal warn i'm bored my alt let's see if there is any errors yeah, there is Mongo's editor. Let's check what is wrong here. Profile validation warns is required. Coins is re oh, okay. Let me just uh, remove required and put it as default. I put zero. And also this, put it as zero. It doesn't matter, but I'm just doing it right now because I don't want errors here. Okay. Let me just clear this terminal. Do no dot. So if I did warn, I'm bored. Okay. Successfully warned, I'm, bo I'm bored. And now we have total of zero one wait what did i do here default uh i have to change this to number since it's number the ones are numbers okay and let's go to the schema as well and delete it from there Okay, delete it. Now, if I did equal warn on board, 
as you can see it says one only one if I did again it should show two all right so the warnings are pretty easy just let me let me just create one real quick here warnings.js and I will just copy this the same code basically paste it here change this to warnings and instead of adding one and saving again it will just show the total okay so uh, like uh, here let me do it like this user have a total of data dot ones that's it all right let, let me show you warnings on board as you can see so that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and to subscribe and leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be that's it and ciao